Reading lists and bookmarks can make browsing the web so much easier. Using a reading list allows you to save articles you might want to read later, and in iOS 15, it's built right into Safari. Both reading lists and bookmarks sync seamlessly via iCloud, so they're available to you across all of your devices. So finishing up that article while waiting for an appointment or while traveling is priceless. This video will get you set up and ready to go. It's very easy to add a bookmark in Safari, and you can do this on your iPhone as well as your iPad. So I'm going to open Safari, and you'll want to navigate to a website that you want to bookmark. In the lower part of the screen, you'll see some icons. One of them looks like an open book. If you long press on that, so push and hold, a pop-up menu appears. The very first thing lists how many tabs you have open in Safari. You could bookmark all of them. You might not want to do that. You also have the option to add bookmark or add to the reading list. I'm going to go ahead and choose add to bookmark. Here you can rename the bookmark um, if you want to. You can also add it to different folders. Favorites is the default. Um, I've not created anything else but I'll show you how to create folders where you might want to organize your bookmarks. But when you're finished, you'll tap on save, and now that website will be bookmarked for future reference. Let me show you another quick way you can bookmark a website. Once you've opened up Safari and you're on the website, if you come down to this share icon and just tap on it and then scroll down, you'll see add bookmark. You can tap on that, you can edit the bookmark at that point and save it. If you're having trouble locating a bookmark because you have so many, if you tap on the bookmark icon at the bottom and make sure that you have bookmarks selected on the far left-hand side, if you don't see the search option, just pull down on the screen a little bit. You'll see the search option come up. I can tap into that. I can start typing the website I want to locate. And once I see it, I can tap on it to open. To edit, delete, or create a new folder in your bookmarks area, you'll open Safari. You'll choose the bookmark icon at the bottom. And then you'll select Edit. You can create a new folder by tapping on Create a New Folder. You can delete by just tapping on the uh, red minus sign. If you tap in the area of the bookmark itself, you can come in and change the name or location of the bookmark if needed. Another quick way to uh, delete a bookmark, let me go ahead and tap on done, is you could search for that bookmark or scroll through you know, to find a bookmark. And once you find the bookmark that you want to delete, if you just slide to the left, you'll see the delete sign just keep sliding and that will delete the bookmark. Let's move on to adding an article to your reading list. Not every website supports reading lists, but many do. If you come across an article you want to read later, here's how. To add an article to your reading list, you'll follow the same method we use to add a bookmark. You'll come to the lower icons on the screen and you'll long press on the bookmark icon. And when you do, you'll have an option to add to reading list. You'll tap on that and you'll see that the article has been added immediately to your reading list. Now you'll need an easy way to access your articles. You'll open Safari, you'll tap on the bookmark icon at the bottom, and you'll see three icons listed under favorites. You'll wanna choose the icon that looks like reading glasses, and you'll see a list of your articles that you've saved for later. Inside the reading list, you have some other options as well. You can choose to show all the unread articles if you want. You can also tap on edit where you'll have the option to select the circle next to an article, and then you can delete that article, save for offline viewing. So in case you don't have internet access, maybe you're on a plane and you wanna read some articles, you can save them for offline viewing, and then you can tap on done. I'm gonna go ahead and just uncheck that and tap on done. Another option you have is to push and hold on an article 
and a pop-up menu will appear. And so you'll have the option to copy that article, open in a new tab group, uh, open a new tab, mark as read, save for offline, or delete. So those are two different ways to access the edit options. You've now mastered everything there is to know about bookmarks and reading lists. If you have a question, let me know in the comments section. Tell me how you plan on using bookmarks and reading lists. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.